Hi everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and welcome to this new video dedicated to Jet Review's 2.3 plugin version. So today we're gonna check out what new features have been implemented within this update and see how to enable them in your current project. So if you like our videos, tutorials, and overviews, please don't hesitate to hit the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. So guys, shall we get started? First nice little feature that I think will be very useful is multi-check and bulk actions. From now on, you can select as many reviews as you wish and apply needed actions, approve, unapprove, or delete to them. Fast and easy, right? Another cool thing added to the plugin is a possibility to check the content of reviews and comments for blocked or disallowed words, so to say. You can enable this option in advanced settings of the Jet Reviews plugin and add your blacklist words separated by commas to this field. This way, all reviews and comments containing these words will be held for review and will require further approval from administrator. For example, let's open the Post Source tab and click on the Doctor's CPT tab just to make sure that new review approval option is toggled off and the admin does not have to check each and every review submitted on the site. Now let's open the page of a doctor and leave just a normal, regular review without words from the blacklist. Okay. And now, let's open the page of another doctor and leave a review with disallowed words. And, as you can see, in the first case, the review was added to the page right away, but in the second case, it notified us that it must be approved by a moderator first. So let's check out the review list on the backend. Go to Jet Reviews, All Reviews, and there we go, here are both of them. But the one that contains blocked words is highlighted in red, which means that we need to either add it, approve, or delete it accordingly. Okay, apart from automatically holding some of the reviews for further approval, our developers decided to add an option that will notify the admin via email of new reviews and comments submitted on the site. This option is located in the same advanced settings of the Jet Reviews plugin, and it also allows you to narrow down the list of emails to be sent to only those ones that require admin's approval. So let's say someone submits a review that includes some words from the blacklist in it. As we already know, it will be held for the admin's revision automatically, and with the new review notify option enabled, a letter with detailed information about this review will be sent to the admin right away. And a great thing is that this email also includes two links to either approve or delete this review without any need to look for it in the list of all reviews in the dashboard. What else can be better, you might ask? The possibility of importing WooCommerce reviews to the Jet Review dashboard to have everything under the same roof. In order to do that, first you need to make sure that WooCommerce plugin is activated and in that case you will find a new tab WooCommerce under the Jet Reviews plugin settings. Here you need to select what kind of reviews you want to be imported. I'll go for all and hit import button. Once the process is completed, 
you will find new reviews with the source type product in the review list. And last but not the least, Jet Reviews has become Gutenberg compatible, and now you can easily add a review form to a single page with the help of Reviews listing block. Let's see how this can be done. So let's follow to Crocoblock, Theme Builder, and over here I already structured a new single post template for Reviews and created a single post body template for reviews too in the blog editor. So let's proceed to the single page, click Edit Content. Yes, guys, I know it looks a bit weird right now because the editor itself does not really know where to get the data from, but it will look different on the front end. So here I've got a simple section block with dynamic image block for the post thumbnail, dynamic field block for the post title, and another dynamic field for the post content. So now let's select section block one more time and search for the reviews listing block and add it to the canvas. As you can see, the settings here are pretty easy to understand. Here you can select the source of the reviews, post or user. Then you get to choose the layout, stars or points, as well as the input type, stars or slides, and rating type too. Here you get to set up the number of reviews shown per page and decide whether to show the review author avatar, title, comment author avatar, or no. In this section of settings, you can as well select icons and specify labels to make your reviews form unique and stylish. So let's update the template and proceed to post section in the dashboard. Ok, over here we can open any post and leave a review on the front end. There we go. Works like a charm. So, what do you think about this update? Please let us know right in the comments below this video. And also, don't hesitate to contact our support team if you still have any questions or issues. Join our friendly Facebook community and stand with Ukraine. Cheers, guys!